Oh, you've been recording? No, I just started. Oh, okay. Right now. Mm. It looks like Doki. Yeah. Like Doki, bro. Hey, right, anyway. We're not making any efforts to make it look better. No, it's a camera. I'm not saying the background. No, it's a camera. The background is a It's alright. The background's alright. So welcome, Ethan. What's uh, what's what's going on with you? So you're um, you like baseball, right? I like baseball. You yeah. like baseball? Yeah. I I heard that you're. They call you by what? Jeter? Yes, they call me that. Where where is that? Where is that from? Um, I believe it was you know, when I was ten years old, around there, and um, you know, Coach Reese. I believe he's the softball coach right now, the assistant coach with his brother. Um, there was he has this baseball camp. You know, so, so the nickname came from your coach, or yeah, from my coach. Oh, okay. okay that um, okay. I would go to his camps, around ten years old, and um, we had this showcase, like skill camp, and I just guess I was doing really good in defense, and uh, he just called me that, and just it's it's stuck, and right now I'm, I'm a senior right now. I guess you can say he he saw you like a like a I, I don't know like his son or like a prodigy, right? Because he yeah. gave you his name basically. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was cool, and um, the name's still here, so I'm really grateful for that. So I I know nothing like nothing about uh, baseball. Yeah. So how are you guys doing in like do you have do you guys have tournaments right now? Uh, right now we don't have tournaments. We just have an off season program. Uh, okay. For our what is that? Uh, it's like a it's like a baseball team, the whole varsity team, and maybe some freshmen. Uh, we get together, and uh, we just uh play like scrimmages against other schools just to like get uh, prepare us for the, for the actual tournament yes oh okay i get it i get it do you watch a lot of baseball yes i do a lot okay okay so i have a lot of questions i um what's the i don't know what's the best player in baseball uh like, what do you think like what do you think he's like, like of all time player? or like now right now alive uh i gotta say uh Jose Altuve from the Houston Astros. Who is he? Who is he from? Do you know? He's like, a, a second baseman background? for. He's a second baseman for uh, the Houston Astros. He's from Venezuela, and okay. he's won two world titles, and a future Hall of Famer for the Astros. That's nice. Do you have a? I guess. Why do you? Th well, you already explained why. He, but why do you think um, he's? He came from Venezuela. What do you think he? What do you think he? Oh, well, it's because of. Do you think he he was born with this talent, or do you know that like, he's been practicing? A no, lot I think or? he was just born with it. I think he just uh, worked harder, you know, to uh, you know get better. So do you think talent is something that you're born with, but you also have to cultivate? Yes, like you're born with a talent, and then like you know how to do stuff, but then you like try to get better at it, and then like you know, that's how you elevate higher, higher. Kind of like a, I guess, kind of like a. Like a seed, right? Yeah. Like a, an apple seed. You plant it in. And it you, just grows. It, yeah, it, it grows, just, but you have to water you, it. You, you have, have to water it. it. If you don't water it, it's not going to grow. Yeah. So for me, it's like if you don't put in the work, you're not going to, you know, elevate. Speaking of putting the work, uh, do you do you have work? Maybe like, ha um, like four, four hours a day, weekends? Uh, on the weekends, I go the hard. Weekends. Yeah, the weekends, I either live with my with my grandpa, because my grandpa's been there for me um, ever since I was little. He has helped me, you know, become the person I am today. Did he train you to baseball? Yes, yes. yes. He's the one that brought me to baseball. He was a coach, coached uh, my uncles, and uh, it, was, it was, I guess I could say the person I am today is because of him and my coaches. So I'm sorry to ask, but uh, how, how old is your grandpa right now? He's 73 years old. Still going he's strong. young. He's young. Yeah. Yeah, he's 73 years old and he's still, he's still going kicking. At Yesterday, we went, practiced together. That's so, fun. So he's still going after it. I don't see any other you know grandparent doing that. So. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you you said that you like, he trained you to be good at baseball. Yeah. I guess he inculcated in you the love of baseball. Yes, he. Was he a... Uh, like you, a baseball fan when he yes. was younger. Yes, he um, he was in he was in love with the Yankees. Um, oh, he liked okay. Mickey Mantle, uh, the center fielder, great baseball player. But you know he's been around baseball for you know the longest time, so um, it's amazing. Was he? Is he from here or did he? Was no, he's, he's he's from here. Yeah, he'll pass. He yeah, he's from Eagle Pass. 
And you're from here too, right? Yeah, I'm from Eagle Pass too. From Eagle Pass. Yeah. You've been going to this high school all your life? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I've started ever since I was little here. Born here, raised, everything. You also mentioned that you think talent is something that you, uh, it is born with, but you also have to like work hard to, to be the best, right? Yeah, you're born with it. Um, you know, you, like me, I started picking up a ball, started throwing it, you know, started swinging it. So pretty much I think I was born with it. And then I just, my grandpa like trained me harder and harder and harder. And then like I stuck with baseball, you know, played t-ball, played coach pitch, player pitch, and now here. So I feel like he made me work hard And I'm grateful for that, and I think like it paid off, like right now. Um. So you, I'm sorry, I I, I cut you off, but did you you went to your you you said you go to your grandpa on the weekends to work on what? Uh, we work on um the fundamentals, you know, the footwork. Oh, he trains you. Yeah, you he still trains go me. To train with him. Yeah. So um, Did we we live together. So um, we train, we lift. Go to the batting cages at the complex. You know, we do a lot of stuff. You know, for me to get better. Is your is your grandpa your biggest inspiration? Yes, very. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I'm the person because of him, and um, without him, I don't know where I would be right now. But um, like I said, you know, it's amazing that he's been through baseball. You know, his whole life. So, so yeah, it's been. Let's amazing. get to some uh, interesting questions. College. What do you think about college? Do you think it's worth going? Do you think it's a scam? Do you think uh, it just depends on everybody or? I think it just depends on everybody. what you want to do. Oh, okay. okay. If, you, if you really want to go to college, you really want to get a degree, if you want to succeed in life, then that's on you. But I just feel like people, you know, they go to college just to party, mm. I think. But in my perspective, I want to go to college, get a degree. On what? Kinesiology. Kinesi what is that? It's um like, like, um, like trainer. How to be a trainer. You want to be a coach, too? A coach, yes. Okay, Some stuff okay. like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I really want to succeed in life with uh, with that. So, hopefully I can be a college and a university. Do you have an idea of what college, what university? Uh, I think I, I really want to go to Texas State. Where is, where is it's that? It's in San Marcos. It's mm. by, I don't know where it's by, but it's near. Are you of, I guess. Uh, are you afraid of leaving here, or you're like, let's go, I don't care, I just want to make my dream true? You're going to miss some friends, family? I'm going to miss some friends, especially like the AV kids, Yeah. you know. I've never like had people that are like real nice and like are real respectful. Um, but here in audio video, you get to make friends, you get to do all that, but with the baseball guys, I feel like it's like, you have to do something um, to, you know, get their attention, you know, mm. which is something is not good. Yeah. You don't like that. And I don't like that, but um, like I said, you know, join AV. I'm going to miss the guys, um, especially I'm going to miss Eagle Pass too because, you know, it's uh, it's my hometown for 18 years. I'm going to miss it, but uh, I know I'm going to a better place, you know, for better things in my, in my life. I'm new in Eagle Pass. Like, I just arrived last year, and you've been living here, like, your entire life. So what are some spots that you like to go through or some of your yeah where you hang out with your friends generally. um i have friends but i usually don't hang out with them a lot because like i just like try to focus on myself yeah with you're this, in the grind set you're yes, in the grind with set. the school and with uh just with school and myself spending time with family and um sometimes i usually just go out to eat with them sometimes but i usually don't go to the park or you know I so just stick to myself, you know. You don't know, so you don't know, like, a lot of secret spots or something like that? No, like, I just, like, me, I don't go to parties a lot. Mm. I don't think I've ever gone to one, no. No, never? No. Never? never. You're, never you're 18 and you've never gone to a party? Never gone to a party. I've always stayed home. So on the weekends, what, what do you do? You train? Work work out, spend time with family. That's that's interesting. I Because I remember my first party, I, I was, I think it was 13, it was in a quinceañera. And I was like, yo, guys, this is going to be crazy. It wasn't yeah. that crazy. Yeah. Well, like, I, I'm surprised that you haven't uh, went to a party because you just seem so uh, outgoing, uh, so chill. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. You you, you, you feel like you, you know how to talk to people and how to relate to them. Yeah, I can thank, um, I can thank my grandpa and my mom for that. They've raised me to be a good person. You know, what, Whatever you do good is what you're going to get back. So I feel like I believe that. So, like. 
I feel like, yeah, things sometimes go wrong for me, but it's life. So I feel like, you know, people are going to struggle and, yeah. I like, you have uh, some chains. You have yeah. two crosses. I have a cross, yeah, two crosses. And, and uh, the ring, what's the ring about? Oh, the ring is just, uh, my mom gave it to me. So I think it's, I think what, it's what cool. you wear like that in Onion or? Oh, um, she just gave it to me, and she, and uh, she just she just gave it to you in a in a necklace. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, in a necklace. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I like it. What's um? Are you Christian, Catholic? I'm Christian. You're Christian. Yeah. Do you feel that's uh because I, I I understand a little bit that um for example Christians like you 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 when you are like in prayer you you don't you don't ask necessarily God for. You don't ask God for things, but it's more like, you're like, okay, God, what, what do you need from me? Like, what do you want me? I want, for example, I want this car, but maybe you don't, you don't think it's necessary for me. So you're, it's more like a dialogue. Instead of asking for things, you're like da uh, creating a dialogue so you can be more aligned with what God's will is. Yeah, so I'm just, whatever his plan is, his plan is. So if his plan for me is to go far in my career with baseball, then... You know, that's great, but if it's on to, you know, something different for the better. It's, it's great also. because It's great also, but yeah. I put everything in God's, God's will, so whatever he has That's planned, really beautiful. Whatever he has planned, I'm, I'm grateful for it, so. Um, I was going to ask you if you have ever been into, like, in an, I guess, in a life-changing experience, I don't know, a car accident, maybe... One of your friends um, died. <clears throat> life changing experience. Um, anything. Well, I don't know. Um, well, I didn't have a dad growing up, you know, so it was tough, you know. I do remember my dad. I remember seeing my dad, but I never like you know touched him or like met him when I was a baby. Um, but he, um, he's he's been you know doing his thing. Haven't seen him. Um, it's been 18 years now, so he left my mom when, when I was about, you know, two months old. So, been, so it's been tough. It's been a crazy, you know, life-changing experience, but I feel like my grandpa has been like my father figure to me. So I feel like he's helped me become the person I am today. My mom, I can't even, you know, tell you how my mom is. My mom has been there for me, you know. She, you know, got pregnant with me at a young age, at 16, had to, you know, drop high school. She finished. She got her GED. Um, but, you know, it's been tough, but, you know, we've gone through the struggle, you know, we've, we've, um, overcome it and, uh, we're here today and, you know, it's paid off. So I'm really grateful that uh, I can see that yeah. like you, you're, you're upstanding. Yes. You, you, you work, you don't, you don't drink, you don't go to parties. You, no. you're like, I want this. So yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be locked in. I'm gonna do it. Whatever, whatever it takes. Yeah. So I'm just going to focus on myself. Cause I feel like that's what like um, a lot of good things are happening. So I feel like if I keep like doing this, it's gonna continue, and make friends and hang out with the right uh, with the right people. Really. Real quick, before we finish, one last question. So do you do you want to get married? At the right time. At the right time, but you you want? I want to. Yeah, yeah. yeah I course, want to have a course. kid of my own. Just one. Just one kid. Yeah, a boy. Why a boy? You wanna you want him to do baseball too? And yeah, train him? I want him to do the same thing I did. Focus on your studies. Um, don't get a girlfriend too young. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> but just you know. Yeah, I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. How do you say it? You gotta see life. You gotta you know everything life. at its uh, at its right time. Yes, you gotta fail one time because if you don't fail, you know you're not gonna. You, know, you never fail. You're never gonna learn how to. Yeah. Get out. And that's the thing about baseball, you gotta fail. Because it can humble you right away. So, I feel like you gotta do the right thing and you gotta, um, I guess just do the right thing, you know? Just play hard, you know, keep working and do good in your studies because that's what colleges need. They need, you know, studies. I think at the college, the world needs more people like, like you that, are, that want something, yeah. know that they want it. And just work hard to do it. Uh, I feel like I've been talking to a lot of people, not necessarily in interviews, yeah. but just in general, because I've been I I travel all uh, all around. I lived like six years in Acuna, then six years in Monterrey, and so on, so on. Yeah. And um, 
they always talk about uh, what they want yeah. right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's it, for you, you. You're talking about what you want, but in the future, right? And I think it's very destructive what people are saying that it's not. It's everything about you yeah. right now. Yeah. And you're like, it's not everything about me. It's really myself is really important, but like, it doesn't matter what I want right now. Is how I'm gonna turn out in the future, because it's it's everything. It's um, it's a sacrifice. Yeah. Right now you're sacrificing, I guess, um, not having as much fun or or whatever yeah. for. A, I mean, you look you look like you you you're ripped, right? Yeah, you're yeah. strong. Yeah. And I, I'm only guessing that in the future you're gonna be even better, even stronger. Maybe, I don't know, end up in the big leagues. And it's all a sacrifice. Right? You're sacrificing the time right now for a better time in the future. And yeah. I think that's something that we need more um, in the world and especially in colleges. Yeah, I thank my mom for that because um, she's uh, she's been through it. She's been through the the parties. She knows what it's like. You know, you know. She went to a concert. She tried. You know, I think it was an edible, mm. and she didn't know what it was. She felt dizzy. She wanted to pass out. She told me, she was like, don't do this. She's like, I only tried it for you, just to like for you not to do it. And um, I know what it's like going to parties, peer pressure. So yeah. me, I'm like, I'm trusting her. You know, I'm not going to go to parties. I'm not going to do that. And I feel like it's helped me, you know, be focused and like, you know, focus on my future. And I want to do good. Our coaches here are the people that I've, hang around with are like the good people. They want to see me do good and they just, they don't want to see me fail. So I feel like if they see me fail, that's going to break them. And I feel like it'll break me um, bad. So I don't want to like mess up because I've been going down a good path. There's two paths in life. You either choose the good path or the bad path. And I feel like I've seen people join the bad path. And me, I just want You're to continue. You're like, I'm, I don't want yeah, to Yeah, I just want to continue to join the good path towards God and just see where he has, you know, in store for me. Even though it's harder now, it's going to it's gonna get easier, it's going to be better, you're going to be happier in the, in the future. Because I feel like people that are partying right now, they're taking life for granted mm. or they do drugs and then I feel like in the next 10 years they're going to be struggling while I'm going to be succeeding. Yeah. So I feel like that's going to be, you know, that's going to be a big turning point in their life and my life. So it's going to be, it's going to be good. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for me. This is a great, um, it's a great sentence, a great quote to end it in. So thank you so much, Ethan, for being here. Thank you. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you, guys. Uh, subscribe.